Hello, wonderful simmers. I am here uh, with the first video for my uh, Build the Worlds challenge. I am here in Evergreen Harbor. Um, as you can see, I have destroyed all the buildings I could and we're going to build everything from scratch. I got a whole story planned out. I first want to say I am taking a large inspiration from uh, the channel Devin Bumpkin. He is currently doing a Henford on Bagley uh, Build the World series and it is really cool. I've been following along and I've been really enjoying that. Uh, so I love building in Evergreen Harbor. <laughs> this is where most of my builds that I really truly enjoy come in. Uh, so I decided to start here and I do have a bit of a story um, and it was inspired by superheroes. Um, and uh, hopefully you will be able to guess the uh, the superhero uh, story that I am going for and taking inspiration from. Uh, but we aren't going to begin with our superhero. We are going to begin with our uh, our bad guy. The first uh, the first building that we're going to do is for this the Romita family. So I'm just going to go into play mode to introduce you to these guys. Um, pardon me, this is, as I said, my first voiceover for The Sims. Uh, so, and my first, like, building um, on video. Um, most times I just do, like, the tours of stuff that I've already built. Okay, so I'm just going to pause this. Pause. Okay, so, right here is our main guy and I think you can tell by looking at him who <laughs> I've taken inspiration from if you know your your uh, super Marvel uh, super villains uh, so this is uh, John Romita senior and he's actually modeled after Kingpin aka Wilson Fisk uh, from the spider-man daredevil Punisher universe he makes an appearance in all three um, he is the head of the evergreen mafia he does, however, seem like a legitimate businessman at the same time. Let's see, you know, he's a nice character there. Um, he uh, does own some rental buildings um, in Evergreen Harbor. He also owns an, imagine me doing the uh, quotation marks, an importing-exporting business. You can imagine what's going on there. He has a lovely little family here. Um, here we have Vanessa Romita, and she's actually named after uh, Kingpin's first wife, Vanessa Fisk. Um, and she is wearing the iconic purple. I couldn't do the gray streak. I wanted to mention there are no CC or um, mods in my game, so it's all just I have all the all the Sims kits, packs, all that kind of stuff installed, but I don't have anything not from EA installed. So um, this is Vanessa. She, you know, initially doesn't really approve of her husband's criminal ventures, uh, but she is very loyal to her family and to her husband and ultimately, you know, ends up supporting him. And also, you know, the money, the money doesn't hurt. Um, we're going to go over here and this is uh, John uh, Jr here. Um, he doesn't quite fit in with the rest of his family. Um, he is uh, completely oblivious to his family's criminal undertakings. Um, he's a bit naive and he is actually a bit of a stand-in for Harry Osborne. Um, I'm thinking uh, the first the first uh, Sam Raimi movie. Um, Harry Osborne in that sense, but also kind of physically and modeled after, um, oh, his name's escaping me, Spider-Man's friend in the Tom Holland movies. Um, yeah, so he's also, I guess you can guess at this point, he's the best friend of our uh, superhero. He also doesn't know his uh, best friend is a superhero. So we have a lot of, uh, you know, naiveness going on uh, with him there. And lastly, behind Vanessa here, we have, um, maybe you can guess from the blonde hair, 
sorry about all the movements. I'm trying to get get it in space there. With the blonde hair and the uh, the pink outfit, that this is Gwen um, Romita, not Stacy. She is named after Gwen Stacy, and she wears the pink and white of Spider Gwen. Uh, but that's where the similarities end. I wanted them to have a daughter, and uh, Gwen was one of the names I hadn't chosen yet. She is actually in line to be the next kingpin. So she knows what her family is up to, and she's all in on it. Um, she's also the possible love interest of our superhero. Um, so yeah, that is our family. Today I'm going to be working on the exterior of the uh, Romita house. Um, I'm going to uh, alt-tab quickly here to uh, inspiration picture. I believe this is from the TV show, <laughs> Animated Spider-Man, Spider-Man Animated. This is the uh, Kingpin Mansion. Um, so I'm going to be taking some inspiration from that, uh, especially with the colorings of the white and the red. Maybe try and get a fountain in um, there as well. Okay, so I have switched into like a build mode method here, and I am going to try and do a voiceover. I tried to do a voiceover initially <laughs> when I was building, but I found it really hard to build and talk at the same time. I have a lot more respect for streamers uh, trying to do that. So here I am trying to mimic the uh, fountain we have um, in the inspiration picture by combining the statue with this fountain. Um, and I wanted to get that in place first because I had uh, at this point built this um, thing a few times. Um, and you'll see the screen flash, that's because I'm trying to go back and forth to the inspiration picture there to, uh, to see what I wanted to uh, include. Um, yeah, so in the previous builds I had trouble fitting um, the sculpture in the fountain in, but I really wanted it in there. And so I decided to start with that first um, and go from there. And I uh, am playing around with terrain tools to create the uh, driveway here. And sorry when the screen goes black, that's me looking for the for the inspiration. I guess the uh, screen recorder only recorded the uh, the Sims game. So yeah. Oh, and then here I realized I did not have uh, my cheats on. So those are the cheats you need um, to get into the debug. Um, and I was looking for a car just to see how it would fit on the driveway and where it would fit. And I'm doing some adjusting there, um, you can see. Um, and uh, yeah, you can always, I always love going into a debug and using those um, objects. And I'm just placing the car around just to make sure it fits everywhere. Um, the build's not going to be perfect, um, but um, you know, I can't take <laughs> hours upon hours to build these things. So. I wanted to, uh, oh, this is also me <laughs> looking up some, uh, some, uh, cheats and stuff there. Um, yeah, because I was trying to find something and I could not, for the life of me, find it, so I decided just not to go with it. Um, so I just wanted to talk about some of the people, um, simmers that I have, uh, been inspired by. Um, I discovered, um, Sims builds through finding the little Simsy channel, and I, I always watch her stream. Not always watch her streams, but I watch a lot of her streams. Um, uh, but our building style is not very similar at all. <laughs> um, I do have mad respect for um, her and, and the, uh, the uh, building that she does do. Um, my builds are probably um, more along the lines of like um, fake gamer girl if I was gonna <laughs> compare myself to anyone I like the dirty rundown kind of uh, places um, and uh, that's why I love Evergreen Harbor um, yeah so the bigger idea for the story um, as I get the uh, shell going for my build here um, is that we have the mafia have uh, taken over Evergreen Harbor and uh, they want to keep it dirty and gross um, because it benefits their business. It's all about the money, isn't it? Um, and our superhero, um, who if you haven't guessed, is inspired by Spider-Man, um, is going to fight to clean up um, 
Evergreen Harbor, not just from crime, but also literally clean up the city as well. Um, and this idea just came to me one night. I had done a, a shell challenge for Rochella, um, actually, um, and I made an aquarium, but I wanted to go kind of dirty and off with it, and I said, aquarium, sleeping with the fishes, the mafia have taken over this aquarium, and it just really fit well in Evergreen Harbor, and so I'm really, I'm just taking that idea, and I'm running with it. So, like, the Mafia have taken over all of Evergreen Harbor, not just the aquarium. Um, and so I needed my bad guy. Um, and when I knew that I needed a good guy, I was sitting there and I thought um, of the perfect name for, for him, and it was inspired by Spider-Man. So I said, well, now I have to just go with it, and everything has to be Spider-Man, <laughs> right? Um, so it is. It's all it's all Spider-Man inspired characters. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to um, include all the red roofs here. Um, some of the roofs were green in the inspiration pick. I didn't want to go with that. I just wanted to keep the red and white and gold and black detailing. I thought green would be a bit too much there. Um, but yeah, I took um, some liberties with it because of course it's The Sims and uh, Initially, I built, built this facing sideways, and it was this one big long rectangle, but I just, I didn't like it. My second one, I tried to go a bit more modern with it. Didn't like that one either. Um, so I decided to go back to like this more traditional mansion style, um, and uh, more inspiration from the, uh, from the uh, animated show there, um, and uh, just kind of change the the layout and take just inspiration from it. Um, so yeah, again, sorry for the screen going black. <laughs> There's my inspiration picture flashing up shortly. Um, trying to figure out um, how to do the roofing. And I end up uh, taking all this stuff in so that I can do this uh, hipped roofing on the uh, the, f the first floor roof is going to be like this hipped, um, half hipped roof piece. Um, try and get to that same kind of style that I saw in the inspiration picture. I'm going to show you at the end um, the inspiration picture um, and then what my final picture ended up looking like, my final build. Um, yeah, it was really fun uh, to do this. I, I do grab some uh, inspiration sometimes, um, but not always. Um, so it was fun trying to actually build off like a real, uh, well not a real house, because obviously it's animated, but to actually use an inspiration instead of just, you know, coming up with something off the top of my head myself. Um, so here I'm doing that trick um, to get this half gabled roof thing where the top part is flat. I don't know what the technical name is for it, um, but you'll see you, you do all these half tip things, roofs around here, and then you build a platform in between them. I was having trouble getting the arrow and raise it up um, really high and it creates this kind of fancy looking roof and then you'll see me struggle trying to pit um, a fence around it um, to create an image and it doesn't work and uh, I eventually found um, these things in the roof decorations that I decided to use instead of trying to struggle with placing that fence um, so yeah, that's what I did. And uh, there's a trick, if you haven't heard about it, I heard about it through other YouTubers, um, is to hold shift um, when you set something down if you want to set down multiples of it. And at this point I also decided that I'd like to put in a, um, a chimney and decided to go with two because it is kind of fit. I did kind of struggle. Um, I think that was why I built this out a few times. Did kind of struggle with um, trying to um, see how this fit into the world of Eagle Lifestyle um, because it doesn't exactly fit in. Um, but uh, I figured, you know, uh, he's a rich mafia guy. He can have whatever kind of house he wants wherever he wants it. So um, that's how I finally uh, came to terms with having this, uh, this kind of house here. Um, in um, Evergreen Harbor. 
and I'm roofing. Um, all our favorite parts, you know, favorite thing to do in, in The Sims is playing with the roofs, right? Um, I was trying to get it not to uh, show out the back there, um, so I had to uh, struggle with it a bit here, trying to get it into place and bringing in all the flaps and stuff. I eventually got it. Um, yeah, so there's the front. Um, and I was putting on the, the pieces, and then I came around the back and realized it's really flat back there, because I really was only working on the front. Um, but you'll see in a moment here, um, after I uh, add in a little tiny half wall on these, they're not real balconies. I'm not gonna, they don't have doors out to them. They're more just like pieces of uh, interest um, <laughs> out there. Yeah. Um, just more fiddling around here. Um, yeah, so in this house, what I want to have inside, which will be the next video, um, I'm going to try and do the, uh, the, uh, oh, what's it called? The layout. Um, the layout, um, off, off camera and get that all done because that, that, that's a struggle and you don't want to watch me do that for like an hour. <laughs> um, and I'm not editing this, so you're going to have a lot of ums and stuff like that, but I think that's fine. That's, you know, if you're having a normal conversation with someone, that's what you're going to hear, right? Um, yeah, so this, this house has got to have um, three bedrooms. Um, I was thinking, I'm toying with the idea of giving Vanessa and, uh, and um, oh, what's his name? John uh, Senior separate rooms. I don't know. I I'll I'll figure out the the layout and see if that works out. Um, just so that like she has her own her own space is the kind of idea. Not because there's anything going on in the marriage. Um, yeah, and I want to have kind of a office for nefarious means is what I wrote down. I like that word nefarious. Um, and hide it um, somehow behind a secret door. Um, maybe build a basement, maybe, I'd uh, rather not, but, um, that is an option there if I can't fit it. Uh, there's going to be kitchen, and formal dining, formal living, and general, like, rich people. I want to make this mention, like, really gaudy, um, and, like, like, new money <laughs> type, type rich people, um, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so here's me more fiddling around trying to figure out um, this extension that I added on to make it more interesting and to have more space because I discovered a rectangle uh, is not very easy to put a layout into. Um, it's better if you have um, if you have um, angles and different ways to move around in there. Um, so I'm just adding extra extra columns because I hated how like the bottom of the columns like stuck out um, so I just added extra ones at the bottom to kind of give it more support and now I'm finally putting in the doors and the windows um, because I had already done this build two other times I already knew um, what uh, what windows and doors I wanted um, so I was quick to get those as opposed to when I normally do it and I <laughs> pull out a bunch and try it out first. And just placing windows around, trying to get them all um, even. I like these ones with the shutters, they look similar to the ones in, in the picture um, as well. And then I want to get some uh, smaller ones, I this is me looking for the smaller um, windows that you can also see in the inspiration picture. Um, wanting to lower down the uh, the roof line there so they weren't too blocked. Um, I figured this extension over here is kind of like an addition to the house. Um, so it's like a later addition. So this might have the kitchen in it and it might be a bit more modern than um, the rest of the house. I really haven't decided too much on what the interior is going to look like. Um, but I was glad to finally get the exterior done there. Um, yeah, and this is just placing windows um, 
and the, the window placements of course might change once I do the um, the layout I just wanted to kind of have it have a more finished feeling um, like the exterior is actually finished and there's lots of windows do you ever see houses like this in real life have this many windows I don't I was looking at my own house and it's like there's not that many windows um, but there are in uh, in um, in Sims builds for some reason and I've decided the whole second floor was going to have these smaller windows except for one section there just going with gut feeling and what I want it to to look like I think I'm done with the windows there finally and don't forget to save your game my computer actually at one point had um, died because I forgot to plug it in and thankfully when I plugged it back in it had only gone to sleep um, and the game was still open and playing there so I locked out but I hadn't saved at that point so <laughs> yeah good idea to save um, and here I am looking for inspiration for the landscaping and I'm going to raise the house up after I do the landscaping because I find that if you pit the landscaping in before um, you raise this after you raise the house it kind of wants to jump up and stuff like that so yeah um, I guess I decided not to uh, <laughs> to do the uh, landscaping just yet I wanted to um, pit in the uh, the backyard here um, and it's just going to be completely paved in these are people who don't care about the environment so they're not going to have much uh, green space it's it is going to be all um, paved um, marble I think is what I used and I tested a few uh, fences here I was trying to go with something more modern um, didn't know, like how that looked against the traditional house um, so I think eventually I settled on uh, up this privacy fence because I figured also like you're the mafia in the middle of town <laughs> uh, you don't want people looking in on your business right so there's a bit of a privacy fence I was going to put more trees um, in the back but then you wouldn't really be able to see um, there um, so yeah and this is sped up um, by the way um, I don't build this fast um, I, I think the whole building um, this particular one took me an hour and a half um, to do um, so yeah just just a reminder that these um, speed builds are sped up um, and quite a bit I think I put the video down to uh, 30 minutes this section um, is 30 minutes yeah so um, I got these cypress trees I thought they matched pretty cool to the uh, to the inspiration picture and I was looking for some purple flowers like what they have and uh, I think actually when I found this flower I was actually that's perfect I said that out loud because um, the flowers were purple and so at this point I'm, I don't really care that they're clipping into the wall um, because as I said I'm gonna raise it up on a foundation and it will clip into the foundation and that doesn't that doesn't matter <laughs> um, it can it can clip there um, so yeah just placing some flowers around I don't want to do too much on the landscaping I think this is probably gonna be the only house that has like major landscaping and it's only because they're rich um, the rest of the houses are gonna be the houses that I like to build more kind of run down um, more like you know garbage in the uh, the back yard and front yard as opposed to trees and flowers um, not that I think houses should have that I just think it's fun to build and here I was trying to provide some privacy more privacy with these trees these are from the debug these are trees that are native to eco lifestyle you can see some in the background there so this is more trying to blend it into the surroundings even though the surroundings are kind of like sidewalk um, <laughs> yeah so there we go I believe I am uh, almost done at this point I am just going to go work on the fun stuff in the backyard I'm pitting a forgot a, uh, a roof back here um, that's fun <laughs> like feels like it was done but it wasn't um, yeah I like the I like the red roof and the white um, it's actually quite quite nice not what my usual style I usually go for like quite dark um, build as well 
And this is my first time actually using the uh, the pool design tool, like the freeform thing, and I really like it. Um, yeah, I got to play around with it. I wanted to round it out a bit here more, so that's what I'm doing there. Um, just playing around with it as we do. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a pool. And here I was trying to figure out how to delete parts of it. Figured it out. Uh, control deletes a lot of things if you hold control and then like trace over the part you want to delete. And then I had done this in a previous build too. I wanted to um, have the pool be black um, inside. Um, so I'm doing that now. And uh, adding... I tried to make it dirty but then I feel I like, realized like these are like the rich people they are not going to have the dirty the dirty water um, they're going to have the uh, the fancy pool um, place to jump in and one thing I loved I can't was it Sims 3 or Sims 2 that had the the water slide so here I was looking for a slide that I could use to put into uh, <laughs> into the water as a water slide and I decided to grab one of these kitty ones and set it up uh, it had a decent swatch on it so I was like oh yeah let's do that um, and then I wanted a place for uh, Vanessa and, and Gwen um, to hang out um, by the pool I imagine them uh, lounging there and talking talking business because you know they're they're really the ones that uh, are running are running things here um, and I set this little sun tanning station uh, trying to find the sunscreen of course got to wear sunscreen um, and uh, getting a water bottle from the uh, everyday clutter kit don't ask me where <laughs> certain things are from certain items and stuff I am not very good at knowing um, but some things I do know like the everyday clutter kit and other things I'm just like I don't know I'm not I'm not that well versed in knowing which kit is is which um, and here I'm just trying to find a sliding door. Um, yeah, just working on the backyard now. And I wanted this to be like rich people backyard. So they got this built-in uh, grilling station here. And I was trying to find a uh, counter that matched it there. So I'll go through a few swatches on a bunch of things. Eventually I did find one that uh, reasonably passed for it. Um, was it this one? Yes, it was this one that I ended up going with. Um, yeah, so this is like their outdoor kitchen. And they got a wine fridge out there. Um, I wanted it to be very like kind of typically mafia-esque. Um, but like family mafia. Like I, like, I'm talking like I actually know like the mafia and like how things happen. I don't. Um, don't know anything about the mafia aside from like a few movies um, and I guess inside I could probably take inspiration from Scarface but you know we'll see um, yeah so there's my little outdoor kitchen I didn't want it too cluttered because I don't think they actually use it because again they're really kind of wealthy and you know why why would they dirty themselves with actually doing work when they can get you know one of the minions to do it for them um, or the henchmen I do have some henchmen coming up and I'm very excited for my henchmen house because um, you know that's that's not going to be fancy in the, the least it's going to be a lot of fun to build um, so yeah, I'm just pitting an outdoor sitting area here um, getting it quite fancy schmancy um, you can tell I, I don't come from, from wealth, um, I, I'm like very much working class, so getting to build in the Sims and houses like this, it's fun, but, uh, also, you know, I get to make fun of all the rich people. I was trying to find some exterior lights that kind of fit with the build, I'm not really happy with what I got, I went with those ones, um, but I didn't really see anything that I was happy with. And as I said, I don't have CC uh, content, uh, custom content, and I don't have any mods. Just because, like, when I had The Sims 3, I had so much custom content, it took, like, 30 minutes for my game to load in, and it's just, um, you know, it's just not something I want to go through again. I'm, I'm content with the content um, that the EA team 
um, gives us. And mods, I'm just... I don't feel the need for them. The tool mod looks kind of cool, and maybe sometime in the future, but right now I, I really don't feel the need for it. Um, I wanted to put a fireplace out here. Um, I thought that would be uh, cool. And I was trying to find some chairs and tables to go out here. Not tables, uh, chairs and couches is what I meant to say. Um, and I changed my mind on a few things. I like this one, but it didn't really fit in with like the rest of the furniture. It's a bit too dark. Um, I did like the red um, as a nod to, to the roof and the accent colors around, but ultimately um, decided it was just a bit too dark for my liking. And um, oh, I tried these ones, but um, these fancy gold ones <laughs> um, that are coming up, but I wanted them for inside the house instead. So I do place them and get them all out, um, but I I like them for inside as opposed to, to outside. So it's the struggle to find outdoor furniture for The Sims, I find. Something that's realistically outside, um, but also kind of fits the the uh, the vibe and the aesthetic that you're going for. Um, so I use the White Lily a set, which comes with For Rent. I do know that one, because that one's a recent kit. Um, but the chair doesn't match. The swatches on the chair don't match the swatches on the couch. Um, and then I decided to go for um, these uh, uh, poofs or ottomans or whatever they're called um, and thought they were kind of cool and um, a little bit of that modern touch um, there. I can see in the future, um, I don't know how much of a gameplay I'm going to take this for, but in the future I can see uh, Gwen taking over this mansion and like completely modernizing it. And here's the other struggle, finding a rug. I try to place this one, um, but I don't. I don't end up liking it. I want something a little more um, luxurious here, so I decide to look for the faux uh, fur rug. I figured they put the faux fur outside, and they'll have the real fur on the inside of their house. Uh, was my thought <laughs> um, there, and uh, didn't want the coffee table to blend in with the uh, rug color there so I lightened it up and this I figured um, would be like a place where they'd come out and have tea or coffee and and read a book um, because they have the leisure time to do that um, whenever they feel like it and just a bit of clutter um, here I do love cluttering um, that is one thing I love doing in The Sims. Um, this um, outside doesn't have a lot of clutter, um, just because I didn't feel like it fit. And I want things to be slightly askew, um, like they were, like they were placed there, and not so perfect. Um, but not everything in this is going to be a little askew. There. Um, so, oh, I'm putting, oh, I'm using the little Simsy trick. If you watch Little Simsy, you'll recognize this trick. Where you grab planters, um, but you're not going to plant um, them in gameplay. You're going to plant some, like, bushes and shrubs in them. Um, I like this little method that I see her her doing. Um, it seems like in every build she does it. Um, it's fun here trying to uh, do some more um, ways of incorporating some decoration and I do believe we are um, oh just raising it up onto foundation now <laughs> and I'm gonna pit in the stairs um, and fix the foundation that uh, took some figuring out I was trying to find a white brick but we didn't have any um, so I think I just end up going with this kind of white one here and I'm just about done I uh, wonder, you know, have you guys ever done a uh, save file, a build the world challenge where you completely rebuilt one of the uh, the Sims worlds? Um, I started working on Newcrest. I think that's one that a lot of people start with. Um, that's the uh, world that comes pretty much blank. Um, so yeah, it's, I don't think, yeah, there's no builds in there. I have started that one, but that is, my Newcrest is uh, more of a uh, playtesting ground for me in, in different builds there. Um, yeah, so I'm just hitting on the freeze and 
the stairs here and then I am very janky with the camera I'll apologize I'm still working out how to how to do the first person camera um, shots here I I'm a bit better than I was before and I'll let the music take over now <laughs> 